Hey guys, Dr. Kahu here, welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a new what if, and that is, what if Naruto was a speedster, part 1. Now as usual guys, if you guys can please like and subscribe, leave your comments down below, leave the bell notification on so you guys can be the first to get my new content, and if you guys want, follow me on my new channels that I'm going to be making, I'll be leaving the links in the description down below, I won't be making no content on them this week, Probably, I'll probably be making them next week. But the gaming, uh, the, the channels I'm going to be having are Dr. Kahu Gaming and Dr. Kahu Explain. So I'm going to be leaving the link in the description, hopefully as soon as I can. So I hope you like it, okay? If not, um, check back on later and it'll probably be on after, okay? Because I need to finish them off. And not only that, guys, um, I did a poll recently and I know what if Naruto was a genius one. But the reason why I didn't do it was because one, the original video was too great to do. Two, um, I was meant to do other videos, but I was too caught up in the what if Naruto was a genius that I kind of lost all my other aspect of all the other videos. And since this, this what if that I'm doing right now was the last one I've done altogether online, it's in my brain more fresher, so I'm going to be doing this. And not only that, big shout out to you, Shadow Thunder God, you gave me this idea, okay? So I hope you got, hope you like it, my bro. But yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get into this new what if, and that is what if Naruto was a speedster, part one. Now let's begin. So let me give you a brief example of what a speedster is and then we'll jump straight into the Naruto universe and how I justify how Naruto gets the ability of the speed force or most importantly a speedster. Now and by definition a speedster is a person from the DC universe that utilizes the, the universal force known as the speed force. Now the speed force itself is a layer of the universe that pretty much allows one to be able to travel through space, time and be able to duplicate oneself, generate lightning, and just all in general turn back time, regenerate instantly, all that stuff. They come with downsides, especially when it comes to Barry Allen, Bart Allen, all of them. They, they need to eat a lot of food to sustain their metabolism, okay? That's how the speed force is. Now, the first one to get the speed, first bef um, speed force before Jay Garrett, or Jay Garrett was from the original Ju Justice League um, of America, or Justice League Society, whatever they are, or what do you want to call it, but um, Barry Allen is one of, one of the first people to get the Speed Force, and he, he, by definition, is one of the fastest. Unfortunately for Barry Allen, it's Wally West that's the fastest Flash to exist, okay? But yeah, now that you guys got a brief example upon uh, the Speed Force and the Speedster, let's get into the Naruto universe to see how I would justify how Naruto will get the Speed Force. Now, it's just going to go a little bit simply. Minato himself, he's the one that, he's not the one that creates it, but he's the one who gains the connection towards it. Now, just by definition, the Flash accidentally, well, if you watch the TV series or the comics, um, the Flash went through an experiment where he got hit by a bolt of lightning and mixed with a couple of chemicals, which in turn connected him to the Speed Force. Now, we're not going to go with that kind of perspective. At the same time, we're going to go with a similar situation, okay? So, I hope you, hopefully you guys like this, okay? And again, to you bro, Shadow Thunder God, this is for you my bro. Now, how this is going to go is Minato himself is the fastest shinobi alive. And we all know that. He beats Tobirama and the Raikage. He would have killed the Raikage if it wasn't for Killer Bee, right? Now, in the notion of that, Minato was just using the Flying Raijin and his reaction speed. Now, I'm going to state quickly after the showdown before Minato became Hokage, this is when he started experimenting with the speed actually, okay? Now, when I state by this, is Minato started to push himself faster and faster, amplifying lightning chakra on, on his, with his speed more and more up until the point where one day when Minato moved so fast that a lightning bolt hit him and as Minato was moving at max speed and a lightning bolt hit him what ended up going down is in a flash Minato disappeared into this weird 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 realm if you will this force of energy itself and encompassed his body went through him but it didn't fully connect to him it, con it created a, a tiny tether towards him but it wasn't fully naturally his okay so when Minato came back and Minato figured out how to come back by teleporting to his kunai what unintentionally Minato did was he didn't come through a, a speed force portal which tethered, which connected him fully to the speed force. However, because Minato was saturated in the speed force and he teleported out of there instead of using the speed force means, like how he did to get inside, what ends up going down is Minato is slightly connected to the speed force and ergo the idea of why Minato when he moves so fast he looks like a flash of lightning. I'm just going to state that Minato is, is slightly but surely using the speed force even more. Now, in that regard, though, Minato is not going to actually use it. It's just going to be a passive ability, but it's not going to be too much for him, okay? It's not going to be like the Flash or Bart Allen or all of them. No, no, no. It's just going to be Minato just a tiny bit more faster, okay? 
but it still drains him uh, it will drain him just as similar okay so regardless of the fact Minato still um, has to seal the Nine Tails within Naruto but thanks to this ability thanks to that Minato he puts his chakra into Naruto and this is where the things change after Kushina and Minato died Minato unintentionally connected Naruto's physical being to the speed force when he gave when he put his chakra into Naruto and because Naruto was pretty much being born and growing all that stuff the speed force itself naturally connected to Naruto but just like how the Nine Tails needed to um, needed a catalyst a prerequisite to come out when Naruto was in an emotional state when Naruto was angry the Nine Tails would use that to like slightly leak his chakra up same perspective Naruto needs a catalyst or something to activate the ability to go into the speed force or utilize the speed force okay and so that's where it is Naruto grows up normally he's still the same child however he has a tendency to move faster than normal kids even the Hokage says everyone noticed this even Kakashi that Naruto for a little kid is moving faster than the tuning and this blows Kakashi's mind because he's, he's watched Naruto from afar okay of course he did his own missions even Danzo everyone looks at Naruto and think oh my gosh here's another here's another Minato and everyone wants to scoop him up, especially Danzo, okay? So, right before, uh, what's it called, they all do so, Naruto he still saves Hinata from the, two, the boys that bully her. The only difference is, when Naruto's watching them, they're about to beat her up. Well, um, bully her, Naruto steps in the way. He fails to do a Shadow Clone. And when the boys begin to beat him up, one boy manages to land one punch. But when the next punch comes, Naruto looks up, and in an instant, his eyes turn yellow like lightning. And immediately, Naruto dodges the punch, he begins to beat up all the boys. But to him, Naruto, the boys are frozen still or slowly moving. Naruto beats them all up bad, um, um, really fast in bullet time. And if you don't know what bullet time is, check it up on YouTube. Or the notion is pretty much like the Matrix, okay? If you have not watched Matrix, YouTube, okay? Google it. But anyway, Naruto entered into a form of bullet time where he was able to slow down enough for him to dodge, beat the boys up, and protect Hinata. Naruto still had a bleeding, uh, bleeding nose from the punch the boy landed on him. But Naruto is the victor out of this fight. He stands over. He stands over the three boys and tells them, "How do you? How dare you pick on a girl? She's a girl." Naruto stands over there with absolute anger, and as he's standing there, lightning's emitting from his hands. A little bit of lightning, anyway. Hinata looks at Naruto, and when she looks at Naruto, she she sees the lightning echoing around Naruto's eyes. But she's super impressed. She blushes and she says, "Thank you." No, and as she's about to say, Naruto, the Hugo bodyguard comes and tries to discipline Naruto. But Naruto is still charged at this point, so he's able to dodge it and move away. But when Hinata gets ferried away, Naruto looks at her and she looks back at, at, at him. Both of them, in a sense, make a deep connection with each other from that moment on. Both of them. Not just Naruto, Hinata, not just Hinata, Naruto as well. Okay? And this is going to implement a lot in the future. Set a lot of bigger goals for Naruto. And anyway, so as Naruto grows up through his life, everyone notices Naruto's speed. He is just rapidly fast. Not only that, Naruto learns quicker too, than more than, more than any other kid. He's still an idiot in the sense where he goes around making trouble but he can't help it because no one loves him. I understand like how Naruto, I feel sorry for Naruto. But anyway, um, that's my own personal feelings. Naruto himself, what, what, what goes down is as he goes through life, everyone observes him, you know? And what I mean by everyone observes and watches him, Danzo's watching Naruto. The moment he found that Naruto as a kid is faster than any tuning in the village, this made me, um, the Danzo like, all right, and so he had Black Ops watching him all the time, and it, it even showed that they couldn't even keep up with him. So to Danzo, Naruto was an invaluable weapon that he needed to get his hands on right then and there. So before Naruto started the academy, what ended up going down is he went to go see um, the third Okage and demanded that Naruto be trained by him and the uh, Black Ops Ombu. Nope. The third Okage goes, no, we do not need that right now. No, not at all. Naruto will train like a normal shinobi, as Kushina's put wishes. And then Danzo turns his back on, uh, uh, on the third Akari and goes, If you really wanted to comply with Minato and Kushina's wishes, you should have raised them yourself instead of allowing yourself to. And at, at the moment he, he says he says this, the third Akari stands right behind him. He put, uh, like he was sitting down behind his desk, now he's standing right behind Danzo. Danzo feels a rush of wind behind him. And the third Akari pulls out his pipe and states, I have my reasons for Danzo. But where were you when we, the village needed you most? Danzo and the third Okage make eye contact with each other. Danzo realizing that he kind of pushed it too far when it came to the third Okage. He knows his friend, but he knows for the fact that his friend will kill him if they come to a battle between the two. And so Danzo smiles and he goes, he gets the third Okage, walks away and he respects his decision. But he tells the third Okage that he'll be watching Naruto more in depth, more closely. And this prompts the third Okage as well. And so this is where the story ends when Naruto enters the academy. Despite him being as fast as he is, he's still not as smart as anyone else is yet. 
But what goes down is um, Naruto has someone inserted into his life really early. And now, so as Naruto is going through his life, um, going through the academy, Naruto is, is met up by a guy named Kakashi Hatake. He goes, hmm, you're Naruto Uzumaki, aren't you? And this is after Naruto failed the, um, the, the, the getting test twice. Naruto looks back and goes, yeah, who are you? And why is your eye covered? And your face? Why do you got white hair? And Kakashi looks at himself like, yep, this is Kashina's son. <laughs> and, and Kakashi goes, well, I'm on here, I'm here by the third Hokage's request to check you out, Naruto. Naruto goes, third Hokage? You? Check me out? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's your name? And Kakashi smiles and goes, <laughs> my name, Naruto Uzumaki, is Kakashi Hotoki. Naruto goes, well, cool. Well, um, I don't know what the third Hokage wants with me, but I did nothing wrong. And Kakashi laughs, thinking that Naruto, Naruto believes he's in trouble. But Kakashi goes, no, 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 Naruto. I'm here to observe you, here to help you. In a sense, be your mentor. Naruto's like, my, my, my mentor? And he goes, yes, Naruto. I heard that you, you, you'll find it hard to do jutsu. So I'm here to help you. I'll be here backwards and forth through all my missions, Naruto. But I'm here if you need it, okay? Naruto is so excited he can't believe he has someone there to help him. And Kakashi feels so sad inside that Naruto was alone and went through this way. But Naruto is not, not, he's not that quick to um, trust yet. Naruto puts his head down and goes, Well, I'm very grateful to have you as my sensei. And Kakashi smiles and goes, hm, very polite boy. And then what happens is Kakashi goes, well, right now I, I, right now I don't have the time to train, but I do have the time to eat Naruto. So if you want, before you come into the, before you go into the academy tomorrow, me and you can meet up, we can discuss things before I go on my mission, and then we can decide how I can help better you and help you become a guinea. Naruto smiles so much that Kakashi is helping him like this. Now bear in mind. Because of Danzo plotting the idea that he's going to put an Anbu member to watch Naruto at all times, the, um, the third Okage put Kakashi, and not only that, he has someone else always waiting. So when Kakashi's not there, another person comes to help him at all times. Okay? The, the third Okage got what Danzo was cooking, in a sense where he heard Danzo well. Christina and Minato wouldn't appreciate what, what, what the third Okage did. So in a sense, the third Okage is making up for it now. Now, as Kakashi and Naruto go, Naruto, um, and, well, sorry, Kakashi takes Naruto to go eat to Ichiraku. When Ichiraku sees Naruto with Kakashi, he actually makes him smile because it reminds uh, Ichiraku was when Kakashi was with Minato. Now, everyone knows that Naruto is Minato's son. Well, even all the people that are important. And I must state that Ichiraku was an idiot. He was the man. And he loved Naruto properly, like how Ruka did. So, in a sense, Kakashi takes Naruto there. This changes Naruto, it builds that trust with him. Naruto even becomes happy up until the point where Kakashi even gives his fish cake to Naruto. And this makes Naruto so happy and puts a tear down his eyes but he tries to wipe it away from Kakashi. And when Kakashi sees it, it breaks his heart even more. Even Aruka. Uh, Aruka, um, 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 what's his name? Um, Ichiraku. And so Naruto thanks, after their meal, Naruto thanks them. They walk off and Kakashi goes, So I hear you're pretty fast, Naruto. I know where you live. How about we have a race with you and I? Let's see if you, I, I can keep up with you. Naruto, really? And he goes, really, Naruto? And Naruto's like, oh, alright, Kakashi Sensei. Naruto, ready, sir? He goes, ready, Naruto? And as Naruto's getting ready, he's he for the first time in his life, truly, he's actually had something to strive for excitingly. And as Naruto gets there, what happens is unintentionally, lightning begins to emit from Naruto's body. Um, slowly but surely, emit from Naruto's body. And Kakashi notices, he's like, what the? But Kakashi's like, ready, set, go. As Naruto, as Kakashi goes to take a leap, Naruto's eyes fill up with lightning chakra and Naruto knows he needs to impress his sensei. He needs to be as good as he can. He's got to push his speed more and more. The moment Kakashi takes his foot off, Naruto's already rocking it past, leaving a massive crack in the ground. Every time Naruto's walking, he's stomping the ground, rushing, rushing, rushing. And as Kakashi looks up, he notices Naruto has already left the sight. Kakashi's like, what the hell? Now for Naruto, this is the first time he's moving so fast, but he's never been this excited or happy before. And then Naruto makes the mistake of slipping, tripping, falling, and smashing right through a couple of buildings. Naruto wakes up the next day, very injured. <laughs> He's healed. He healed really well. Kakashi, oh, sorry, it's not Kakashi. Um, so a medical ninja looked at Naruto and go, um, "Good morning, Naruto." Naruto wakes up and say, uh, "Oh, where am I? Ow, my head!" And what happens? Naruto looks at his hand. His hand was slightly cast, and so was his leg, but his body is already healed and regenerated. 
Naruto goes, um, where am I? What am I? And the third Okage goes, you had an excellent Naruto. Naruto's like, Lord Dirt? Uh, 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 and he goes, hmm. I heard from Kakashi Hut, um, Kakashi that um, you like the, um, the new, um, trainer. Naruto's like, trainer? He goes, hmm. How Kakashi's gonna be your supportive mentor from now on, Naruto. And if not Kakashi, when he's on missions, because he's on mission right now, and the third Okage, um, what's it called? He, um, he waves his hand, and out of a blur, um, what's it called? He comes out and stands up, he removes his Black Ops Ombu mask and looks at him and goes, This is, this is, um, Captain Yamato. And the, the Naruto's like, Captain y Yamato? And Yamato looks at uh, the third Okage and goes, Yamato, Lord Third? And he goes, Yamato. And he goes, hmm. He'll be your, he'll be your student trainer, he'll be your, um, also your trainer until, until Kakashi comes back. So whenever Kakashi is not here, he'll be here with you. And whenever Kakashi's here, he'll be on his own missions. So think of this as, this is, and Naruto goes, I, he can't believe how happy this is making him. He, Naruto just asks the third Okage before he leaves, he goes, what's, why the sudden change, Lord Third? Is it because, and the third Okage looks at Naruto, you're very special to me, Naruto. I didn't see that until now, and I'm sorry it took me so long for me, me to see that. My own my own pain took over, and I apologize. And if I could do my best now to help you, Naruto, I will. And Iruka, uh, Iruka um, what's it called? Captain uh, Yamato walks over to Naruto and, go, and crouches over to him, and he goes, I heard you had a fall, but judging by the extent of the damage that it caused, you don't look much worse for wear. And Naruto's like, damages? And, and the third Okage goes, I leave you with I leave you with Naruto Yamato. And he goes, yes, Lord Third. And so Naruto and Yamato leave, and Naruto looks around and goes, What happened? And it goes, You don't remember, do you, Naruto? And he goes, No, and he goes, Kakashi um, challenged you to a race. And by all definition, I would have thought Kakashi would have won. He technically did one because you didn't make it to your house, however, and he shows Naruto where he was. Naruto destroyed about three um, three shops or three areas, uh, three buildings, just crashing through it. And Naruto goes, I did that? But why am I? And, and uh, what's it called? Um, he, um, he's told by Yamato that it's only due to the fact that Naruto, you're special. Your abilities that you have are special. And I'm here to help you, okay? And so, for the next couple of months, while Naruto's in the academy, he's being taught by Aruka and Kakashi how to govern and control his chakra. Because Naruto has way too much chakra than any kid in the village, it just goes to show that Naruto needs some special, special intuitive training. Now, back to Danzo. Danzo hates the fact that the third Okage is giving Naruto special treatment, and so he needs to balance it himself. So, the, so what happens is, Danzo goes and implements his own ideas to help Sasuke. He understands that Sasuke himself will be the great tool to get Naruto to where he needs to be and gain full manipulation over Naruto. And so Danzo himself puts his, puts his little um, two cents in the idea of training Sasuke and first Sasuke rejects it until Sasuke is jumped by a couple of Black Ops Onbu but he doesn't get beat up, they just show him how nothing he is. And then Danzo walks through the, cl um, uh, walks through the um, mist or the darkness that he will stand in the shadows and walks over to Sasuke and goes, Sasuke Uchiha. Yet again, you deny my need to train you. Why is that? Sasuke goes, I can get stronger on my own. And what happens is, Danza goes, clearly, you can. However, the skill you lack right now is full control of your Sharingan. I can help you with that. I can help you get stronger. I, s I know your motivation is to kill your big brother. So I'll help you with that too, Sasuke. In exchange, you help me. Sasuke looks at um, what's called Danzo, and then Danzo looks at Sasuke. Do we have a deal, kid? And Sasuke looks at him, and he goes to throw a punch at um, um, Danzo, but Danzo turns into mist, steam. And Sasuke, goes, what the? And then Sasuke is paralyzed, not knowing that he's actually been placed under a very, very powerful Genjutsu. Sasuke didn't shoot. Sasuke didn't see the Sharingan, but Danzo quickly used the Sharingan and put it away. And Sasuke looks at you, how, how are you? And and. This is where Danzo walks over to him and goes, You train on me he train on me, Sasuke, and I can I can teach you how to gain the ability to get this powerful with your Sharon Gun. And not only that, I can even enhance your body to be able to utilize your Sharon Gun and not go blind at all, like your brother. Sasuke looks at um Danzo and he instantly he instantly closes his eyes. Danzo releases the paralyzed jutsu on Sasuke, and Sasuke gets on his knees and he he asks for Danzo to help him. And so <clears throat> that's where they go. Now when it comes to Naruto's final um, getting exams, the third Okage stands there and Yamato's standing there too. Kakashi's sitting outside watching 
And when they tell Naruto to do the Shadow Clones, Iruka, um, down, they all stand there, Iruka's watching. Naruto tries his best, and when he does a Shadow Clone, he does a Shadow Clone, but that Shadow Clone blows up because Naruto accidentally puts too much chakra into it. And unfortunately for Naruto, he fails again. Naruto cries immediately that he fails this time. And uh, Iruka, uh, Iruka uh, what's it called? Yamato and Kakashi uh, try to, but Naruto disappears immediately. Using part of his own speed force, and he runs all the way to the point where he gets to the river. And Naruto wipes his eyes and cries for a bit because he hates the fact that he put so much effort into trying to utilize his chakra that he still can't do his chakra properly. And as Naruto sees him um, last day, he, like, he, um, no one can find him because Naruto moved way, moved way too fast. He understands now he needs to watch every step he takes when he utilizes his ability. But he can't utilize it to his fullest because Naruto can't just willingly go into it. He has to go through emotional spats to be able to utilize this ability to its uh, power. So as Naruto sits there and he's, he's upset, this is when he is confronted by uh, Mizuki. Uh, the tuning that wants to steal the scroll of sealing. So, of course, Naruto uh, agrees to it because he's an idiot, okay? And because Kakashi and Yamato couldn't find Naruto, it allowed for Naruto to not only steal the scroll of sealing, he took the third Okage out using his ultimate sexy jutsu. He takes the scroll of sealings and he, and he stands off far away and, and he begins to wait for Mizuki. And as Naruto's waiting, he, he can't be bothered and he begins to read the scroll of sealing. The first thing he reads is the multi shadow clone jutsu, which annoys the hell out of him, but he begins to practice it. Okay, he begins to practice it and up until the point where Mizuki comes, um, he, he pretty much does the same thing as in canon and because Naruto is in a negative emotional stance, he can't activate his speed force properly and as he goes to attack him, he actually gets beat up pretty badly, Naruto does. No matter what Naruto can do, he can't, he, like, he's trying to save himself but he can't do nothing, you know? And then after Mizuki states that Naruto is the nine tail of Fox and Shuriki, blah 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 blah, and when he goes to throw his demon wind shuriken at Naruto, he is saved by Iruka. Iruka looks at Naruto and he tells him, I finally found you, Naruto. And as he gets stabbed in the back by Amazuki, what happens is he screams at Naruto to leave. Naruto runs away with the scroll of sealing. And what happens is this is when he gets another person. So four people truly feeling, and they wait for Naruto, or five actually, because it goes um, Kakashi, Yamato, Ichiraku, the third Okage now, and now Iruka. Iruka tells how he, much he's proud of Naruto from coming so far to becoming so strong. Naruto is technically the fastest kid in the, in the whole entire village. He just lacks the means to understand how to utilize his abilities. But don't put him down. If Naruto was able to utilize his max potential, he'll destroy you. Mizuki laughs at, Naruto, laughs at him and begins to beat up uh, Iruka to the point where he grabs another one and is about to stab it through Iruka's chest. The moment Naruto sees this, for the first time ever, Naruto finally, finally has that weight off his shoulders. He drops a scroll of ceiling, puts it down, Naruto looks right up, and in one clean motion, Naruto breathes in. And Naruto has had enough of letting his emotions control his abilities. And as Naruto does, he goes, FOCUS! And as Naruto says, FOCUS, in a blink of an eye, he, he, he enters into his mindscape. And he's like, what the? Where am I? And then the Nine Towers goes to him, this was unexpected. Unexpected indeed. I didn't expect you to be here right now, ever, Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto's like, huh? And as he turns back, he sees the nine tails behind the cage, behind a normal cage and a seal, and then massive lining barrier that's between him and the nine tails. When the nine tails looks at Naruto, he goes, if it was, if it was a curse, it changed, it was everything. And Naruto's like, you're the nine tails. Where am I? What the hell's going on? And he goes, what is this lining? And Naruto's like, huh? Like, he's so confused, but the nine tails like, Thanks to Naruto's build up of his own power, it's, it prevents the Nine Tails from even influencing Naruto. The f speed force itself puts an extra layer of protection, and only that amplifies Naruto's power in general. And so, as the Nine Tails and Naruto speak, Naruto goes, "Oh, can I wake up now? I need to save Ruka." As Naruto remembers that he needs to save Ruka, the lightning, the lightning that's around him, instantly hits his body. For the first time, Naruto he didn't realize, but he actually touched the lightning fully. And as he touched the lining, it engulfed his entire body. Naruto's eyes turned pure yellow. The lining rockets all around his body. When the when Kuruma sees this, he's actually kind of taken aback. Because the power that's in Naruto's body is easily surpassed in his own. That's flowing through him at this present time anyway. And as Naruto's um, eyes light up, in the real world, Naruto's real eyes light up. And then Naruto instantly, in, in his um, mind space, closes his eyes and he opens his eyes in the real world. And as after Naruto takes his breath out, Naruto takes a step, lightning chakra emits it everywhere, but instead of it being just normal yellow, it's an orange yellow. And as Naruto moves, he begins to move properly. He runs over, he catches the um, demon wind shuriken before he even touches Aruka's chest, and he put, lifts it up out of Mizuki's hand. And without even hesitating, Naruto jumps up and punches Mizuki so hard in the face, sending him flying. 
utilizing the speed force. And in and, and the blink of an eye, Mizuki went from trying to stab Iruka to petting the tree so hard. Iruka's looking right at Naruto. Naruto's holding the demon wind shuriken and he drops it on the ground. And tells Iruka Sensei, I apologize, but I'm here now. Mizuki already has a broken nose, all like a couple of his teeth are broken. His jaw is almost ready to break. Like, he's damaged, like severely damaged. His left eye is permanently closed. He's looking at Naruto like, what the hell does that be? Naruto goes, if I was you, I really shouldn't uh, overestimate my skills. <laughs> Mizuki's like, you damn brat. Naruto goes, thank you for telling me I'm the Nine Tails Jinshuriki, but you also gave me another realization. That my power does not control me. I control my power. And for example, if you ever touch Uruka Sensei again, I will kill you. He gets up in, in a posturing state, stating he's going to kill Naruto. And Uruka's like, Naruto, get out of here. Naruto's like, huh. Multi Shadow Clone Jutsu. Naruto creates a massive amount of, of Shadow Clones everywhere. And these Shadow Clones have yellow eyes. And as Naruto looks, Naruto's eyes turn yellow too, like lightning. And uh, Mizuki's like, these are not. Like he's like, what the hell? And Aruka can't believe that Naruto has just successfully pulled off the multi shadow clone jutsu. Not only that, he has his power under control. And without even hesitating, um, Mizuki tries to, but Naruto and bolts of lightning just run right past him, beating him up so badly that he never wants to betray anyone again. After Naruto's done, Naruto releases the jutsu. He, he, he begins to try to carry Aruka. But then Naruto collapses from all the exhaustion of his chakra use and his, uh, what's it called? His speed for disability. Uruka looks at Naruto and he smiles. And from there, Naruto wakes up in his room. And there, he's met by Kakashi. Kakashi is uh, um, standing there and so is Yamato. And Naruto goes, Kakashi Sensei. Y Yamato Sensei, what? And then Uruka walks through and goes, Uruka Sensei. Uh, uh, and then the third Okage walks in. Naruto's like, I'm so confused right now. And what happens is the third Okage looks at Naruto and goes, I'm very proud of you, Naruto. You did one thing that I didn't expect you to do. And Naruto's like, yeah, sorry about that. Scroll stealing the scroll of ceiling there, Lord Third. And Kakashi looks at the Lord Third and goes, he stole the scroll of ceilings? How? And the third Okage goes, he used a deviant jutsu. <laughs> Eruko knows exactly what jutsu Naruto used. <laughs> and so... What happens is the third Okage in the state scenario is very proud of him. He mastered an ability that his dad couldn't master. Naruto, my dad? And this is when all of them look at each other, and the third Okage goes, It can't be helped now. Naruto already knows he's the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, but it's going to be a um, time where he kind of find out who the previous Jinchuriki was and who she was connected to. Naruto Uzumaki. We're here to discuss a few things, but right at the back, Uruka's here to give you something first. Uruka walks over to Naruto, he's still injured. And he gives Naruto a headband and tells Naruto, thank you for your bravery and your skill. You really impressed me, Naruto. I look forward to seeing you what, what you become as a full-fledged ninja. Naruto smiles. He gives a tear down his eyes. He can't believe it. Iruka and Kakashi smile at him. And then the third Hokage goes, not just that, Naruto. Now that you know the village secret and why the village looks at you this way, allow me to reiterate the specialness of who you are. Not only are you the Nine Tails Jinchuriki and the reason why we are all safe, Naruto, for which I am very grateful, but you are also the son of the fourth Hokage, Minato Namikaze. In the shadows of Naruto's world, Naruto is in a state of lost. He's like, my dad's the fourth Hokage? And he goes, yes, Naruto. He sacrificed his life, so did your mother, to save the entire village. You are living because of their sacrifice, Naruto. We are all living due to their sacrifice. And I'm sorry that I took so long, Naruto, to see that now. I hope you can forgive me. And as uh, the third Okage bows, Kakashi also bows and states, It wasn't, it wasn't a, uh, um, a coincidence, Naruto, that I became your first, your first teacher. Lo and behold, the fourth Okage was my, my mentor as well, my sensei. He trained me from when I was a kid your age. Naruto's like looking at Kakashi, and he also bows his head to Naruto. I, 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 I am ashamed of myself as much as what the third Okage is feeling, and I'm sorry Naruto, I wasn't there for you. Yamato smiles, he goes, I'm very grateful to be a part of your life, Naruto. I'm very grateful that the third Okage has allowed me to do so. You showed me that despite your, you being you, you're quite unique, you're quite powerful, and you're quite skilled. And I look forward to the journey that we all face together. And so um, Yamato bows. 
Erika looks at Naruto and goes, I always knew you had it in your Naruto. You just needed to figure out what you needed to do. But I'm proud of you. Welcome to be, well, welcome to becoming a shinobi, fully fledged. He bows to Naruto, and Naruto is having the biggest tears of his life. He can't, he can't um, comprehend it. And the third Okage states there, well, I gotta go, Naruto. I'm the Hokage, of course. But I look forward to seeing your progress. The third Okage uh, smiles and disappears with the smoke. Yamato also states that he has a mission, and he disappears. And Kakashi states to Naruto, well, you gotta be sorted into your teams, Naruto. Hopefully, you're sorted into a good teacher. He goes over to Naruto, taps his head, and he goes, I'll see you later, huh? Kakashi disappears, and Naruto walks out and goes, Come with me, Naruto, before you start school. Naruto gets up, and they go to Ichiraku, and that's where Naruto eats. He's so happy, he can't believe that he's getting such form of love. But this is a secondary situation. The third Okage is trying to make sure Danzo don't get his claws into Naruto, but Danzo's already got his claws deep into someone else. Now, by the time Team 7 is going to be sorted into their teams. Well, Naruto comes from the class, everyone gets sorted into their teams. Naruto don't care, but like, his rivalry with Sasuke doesn't matter no more. Naruto's got that hope, that happiness. What he wants to do is make sure that all, any team members that he has in his team, he wants to get strong together and become the best team. And so, when Team 7 gets established, everyone else gets put in their team. And when it comes to it, it goes Sakura Haruno, Sasuke Uchiha, and Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto can't believe it, but hey, it's alright. And so what happens is, when Naruto and, and their sensei comes, this time Naruto doesn't pull a prank. Only, only due to the fact that for the next, the last couple of months or so, Kakashi Yamato has been the good influence on him, so it changed him. So what happens is when Kakashi, when Kakashi walks through the door, Naruto, Naruto is so excited, he's like, he's about to say Kakashi Sensei. But Kakashi walks in and goes, yo, I'm Kakashi Hatake, I guess I'm your guy Sensei. Hello Naruto. Naruto smiles and goes, he can't believe how excited he goes, now that you are, we will know each other, let's go to the roof and I'll let to hear from you guys. Now from there, um, Sakura explains the same thing, however, because Sasuke has been influenced by Danzo, Sasuke states that he wants to become powerful in the shadows. He wants to become what is necessary. He has his goal to kill the person that destroyed his life. At the same time, he's going to make sure that he lives up to his sensei. Kakashi looks at Sasuke, feeling something different about Sasuke massively different and this Sasuke himself is dramatically different okay and you're gonna see really soon and when it comes to Naruto Naruto states I want to become Hokage just like my father before me and, and Kakashi smiles at Naruto and Sakura's like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute father before you who's your father Naruto and Naruto looks and points right at the, at the fourth Hokage and goes that's my father Sasuke looks at Naruto and Sakura's about to say, no way, the fourth Hokage is not your... Kakashi snaps a finger and goes, no. The fourth Hokage is Naruto's father. It was a secret. Because you're Team 7, this is a secret that you guys keep within your team. Do you understand? And Sakura's like, oh, okay, Kakashi-sensei. And it blows Sakura's mind to know that Naruto is the son of the fourth Hokage. Now, Kakashi explains to them that um, now that we've, got, uh, we've become acquainted with each other, um, we'll meet up tomorrow in the morning, don't eat breakfast, anything like that. And from there, yeah. And so what happens is Team 7 pretty much scatter. Naruto wants to hang out with him, but Sasuke, he's even worse than before. Brooding as first. And not only that, Kakashi noticed something on Sasuke's tongue. And before um, Kakashi and, um, and before the bell test it even begins for the next day, Kakashi goes to the third Hokage and states that he sees a, sees a sealing tag on Sasuke's tongue. And the only person that puts sealing tags like that is Danzo. The third Hokage states that he, uh, he interfered too much. He's already told the Danzo that he can't have Naruto. And Kakashi's like, well, what about Sasuke? And he goes, I've known that Sasuke for a while has been training with Danzo. So in a sense, we're just going to have to go with that, Kakashi. Kakashi's shocked, but he understands. He understands the third Okage's decisions and understands what he needs to do. Now, what goes down is after Sasuke and them, you know, um, let's just say they skip a day and they come the next morning, Naruto's the first one there, being the fastest of the, two, of the three. And Naruto goes around the entire area, just, you know, just be paranoid and scouts the entire the forest, you know, and <clears throat> Naruto realizes that he can activate this ability on and on, but it makes it on and off, on and off, but it makes him hungry a lot, really, really hungry. And so Naruto has to moderate how he does things. And sure enough, after Naruto, after Naruto um, finishes doing what he does, he sits out and he begins to infuse chakra and meditate in a sense. This gaining one cell. What ends up going down, Sakura appears, and then eventually Sasuke does. Sasuke doesn't even 
he, he hates the idea of teamwork or even this fashion of being connected you know he's a more evil version of Sasuke than it should be okay and so but he's way skilled than Mokana I can tell you right, now, that right there right now Sasuke can activate a shine gun and knowing that Danzo has enhanced Sasuke and you'll see it very soon now as Naruto and Sasuke and Sakura are just going to cast the Nabina on each other Kakashi comes and explains the test he tells them about the bell test and that how they have to try to retrieve the bells. Sakura is the first one to notice that there's only two bells, towards Kakashi explains the consequence. And from there he tells them, well, let's, let us begin. Naruto looks around, and because Naruto has, has trained with Kakashi and Naruka, he understands that these, these tests are not straightforward. So Naruto disappears in, into the forest like lightning. Sasuke looks over and sees he didn't even see Naruto move. And neither the Sakura, Kakashi's like, Naruto's already made his move. He knows he needs to be on point. Naruto can make a thousand shadow clones that can have the speed. So Kakashi with a hits his head and goes, I'm going to have to re um, reveal a secret to you Sasuke that I wasn't going to reveal at all for a while. But because of the unique position that you and Naruto are going to place me in, Naruto Kakashi lifts up a headband and reveals a shadow gun. It shocks Sasuke and it makes Sasuke so angry and he goes, how the hell did you get that? Sasuke's shadow gun activates and when Kakashi sees it he goes, huh. so Danzo has been training Sasuke with the shadow gun, huh? And then when Sasuke looks at Kakashi, his shadow gun goes from one Tomo to two Tomo on both eyes. And Kakashi's looking at that and say, what? Now, Kakashi doesn't realize though that Sasuke has some of his Hashirama cells within his body. Now, Sasuke won't get a Renegon eye straight away, okay? However, his eyes and his chakra levels are at an insane level now. He has an insane amount of chakra and his powers increase dramatically. And right away, the moment Kakashi sees this, Sasuke rushes into attack Kakashi. And they begin the battle and Sasuke is so angry he puts all his hatred and his power into trying to get Kakashi to answer his questions. Where did you get that from? Where did you get that from? Blah blah blah. He tries to attack. Naruto just watching. He watches Sasuke make a fool of himself. And as Sasuke leaves himself open by trying to attack Kakashi one more time, Kakashi disappears and kicks um, Sasuke in the gut so hard that Sasuke coughs, um, not coughs up blood, but he coughs what's in his mouth anyway. And he's wheezing for breath and then Kakashi grabs Sasuke's head, jumps up and kicks him away. And Sasuke, immediately after getting kicked, Sasuke recovers, instantly flips down, and he lands on the ground, and Kakashi goes, he goes, I expected ex I, I expected this much from Danzo's student. Sasuke looks at um, Kakashi, and Danzo, he's not far, he's watching, he's like, <laughs> that Kakashi Hatake, how observant. <laughs> and as, as um, er, um, Danzo's watching, the third Okage, and a flash appears right next to Danzo, and goes, what are we watching? Danzo couldn't believe that the third Okage pulled himself away from the desk. But they watch on and Danzo smiles. Well, this will be interesting. And as they're watching, like Danzo says nothing, neither the third Okage. But as Sasuke begins to try and attack Kakashi, Kakashi is even better now. He's starting to attune his skills to match Sasuke's abilities even easier without need to overexert himself. And Kakashi easily does so. To the point where he's able to punch Sasuke in between the eyes to forcefully close his eyes. It sweeps him one more time. And as he's about to land one more last hit, Naruto, in the blink of an eye, instantly moves like a lightning bolt, catches Sasuke, he diverts Kakashi's hand away, and jumps straight back in the bush. When, Sa when Naruto lands with Sasuke in the bush, he drops him, Sasuke goes, what the hell is this? Sasuke is, he is injured, but thanks to the Hashirama cells, his, his skin and his body begins to heal really fast. When Naruto sees this, what happens is, um, a lot of Sasuke, because Sasuke got injured, um, Sasuke's blood landed on Naruto. Naruto wipes he finds it yuck but he's irritated. Sasuke gets up and tries to punch Naruto and goes, hey, what the hell is the meaning of this? I almost had him. Naruto goes, what the hell are you doing? And they're both debating, both angry at each other. And then Kakashi, seeing where they are, he shoots a massive fireball jutsu. And when Naruto sees this, he immediately, without hesitating, he begins to vibrate his hand. He realizes what he needs to do. And as he begins to vibrate his hand, he begins to put his hand out and he does like a form of rotation. He spins it around like a little like a mini tornado, blowing the attack back right at Kakashi. And when the third Okage sees this, he can't believe that Naruto used such a novelty move. And Sasuke's like, what the hell? And Naruto, Naruto stops and he goes, oh, I didn't think that would work. And the fireball jutsu hits back right at Kakashi, and Kakashi instantly has to do a mud wall to survive his own attack. And Naruto goes, together Sasuke, we can only take him together. As I saved you, Kakashi sensei looked right at me, meaning, as fast as I am, he can see me. You can't see me right, but he can. Let's utilize our abilities together, Sasuke. I can't use Shadow Clones because it will make me drained out to the point where I will collapse. I need your help, Sasuke. What the hell is it going to be? Sasuke looks at Naruto. Damn it. Whatever then. 
And so what happens? Sasuke and Naruto are ready themselves. And Sasuke goes, On you, then Naruto and Naruto is ready. Ready. Boom. Lightning begins to melt from his body. Sit. Go. Boom. Naruto disappears. And he appears right by on the left of Kakashi and throws a punch. But because Kakashi has a shine gun activated, he's able to catch Naruto's hand. Just catch Naruto's hand. And as he does so, Kakashi can feel the power behind Naruto's punch. And he flicks Naruto back when Naruto is able to recover in mid-air, catch jump on Kakashi and throw a kick. But Kakashi's able to block it. And they go backwards and forth, non-stop, backwards and forth. Now I'm not I'm not um, denying that Naruto has the speed force and he's mega fast. But just bear in mind, Kakashi's teacher was Minato, the fastest shinobi in the world at the time. Okay? And I'm just gonna state that I can equate Naruto's speed at this present time to be as fast as the fourth Okage. But untrained, okay? And this is what sets uh, uh, Naruto and Kakashi apart. And so as Naruto is trying his best to try to attack Kakashi, Kakashi trained Naruto all these moves, so he knows Naruto's um, um, fighting patterns in and out. And as Naruto begins to press, he realizes that Kakashi's got on times. Every time Naruto throws a punch, Kakashi's already got his hand moving there. Every time Naruto throws a kick, Kakashi's already jumped over, already ready for it. And Naruto has to think on the fly, think on the fly, think on the fly. And then as Naruto throws his last punch, and he manages to grapple with Kakashi's arm once, Naruto makes a shadow clone, and he instantly grabs Kakashi's other arm, and another two shadow clones to grab Kakashi's legs. And then Kakashi sees this, he can't believe it. He's like, what the? And then Naruto's like, Sasuke! Sasuke improvises himself and runs after. Sasuke down, down weaves hand stars, she shoots a fireball jutsu at them. Naruto's like, what the hell are you doing? And, and uh, Sasuke's like, he's like, easy pickings. And as the fireball jutsu hits them and engulfs them, all the shadow clones and Naruto, he managed to get away, but it engulfs the Kakashi in front of them and it turns into a substitution. And when Kakashi disappears, Naruto runs up to Sasuke and headbutts him straight away and goes, what the hell is this, Sasuke? You almost hit me with that. Sasuke goes, well, you could react right, you're fast, right? Oh, it must have been nothing, you should have brought back to me. Naruto and Sasuke fight with it to get angry to the point where Naruto tells Sasuke, tells Sasuke that I'm um, well, as a team, not, a, not individuals, and Sasuke goes, ha, weak, weak as a team. Naruto goes, you took big for a guy that pretty much hides and get, got, he, got, um, he got handed to by Kakashi. And Sasuke looks at Naruto and goes to throw a punch at Naruto. Naruto dodges it, and then Sasuke begins to throw the punches, but Naruto's unintentionally dodging it. And Naruto catches Sasuke's punch and goes, this is pointless. We're fighting each other for nothing. Kakashi Sensei could, and Kakashi out of nowhere, he, gra he grabs Naruto by the, arm, um, by the arms, and another shadow clone of Kakashi sweeps Sasuke and kicks him right into Naruto. Naruto sees this, and as Sasuke approaches, Naruto without hesitating, he immediately he, he begins to vibrate his body. It's pretty similar to how he did when he pushed the fireball jutsu back at Kakashi, but this time Naruto unintentionally does it. He instantly phases through Kakashi's arms, jumps up, he wants to call he catches Sasuke. And he, he spins Sasuke around, and he, and he tell, and as Sasuke is spinning and recovers, he looks at Naruto, and Naruto goes, Ready? Go! Naruto throws Sasuke at max speed at Kakashi. Sasuke instantly rushes at Kakashi, throws a punch. Kakashi just managed to stop it, but um, the, the rest of the kinetic energy was enough for Sasuke to spin and kick Kakashi in the head. Naruto lands, he instantly sizes up Kakashi, and as Kakashi is falling down from the attack from, from Sasuke, Naruto speed rushes at Kakashi and jumps and tackles him immediately. And attacking Kakashi into the tree, Kakashi hits the tree, Sasuke immediately complies with Naruto this time, he rushes at Kakashi again, and he, and he instantly pins Kakashi's um, neck with his knee. Naruto uses the speed force to cut the bells, and chuck it back, and as Naruto does this, Kakashi immediately does like this massive, this massive expansive lightning jutsu that stuns both Naruto and Sasuke. And as Naruto and Sasuke hit the ground, Kakashi goes, nice try, but you guys almost got the bells. He looks up, and he sees Sakura holding the bells. He's like, Sakura, but Naruto goes, It's all about misdirection, Kakashi Sensei. I talked to Sakura this whole time, but me and her both understand that she knew she wasn't going to be able to compete with us. But I needed her to be there at the right moment, at the right time, and she was. Kakashi smiles and he looks at all of them. He realizes that Sakura wasn't really a, um, a good team player, but to be there at that right time, she must have listened to Naruto. And not only that, Sasuke and Naruto both came together to utilize their full skills. So, in a sense, Kakashi half passes them, but he still states to Sakura that she still needs to be tied to the pole. And she's upset. Now, Naruto, he's a black hole for food, okay? He'll eat anything and never ever, never run out. So, he's starving. So, the moment Sasuke begins to eat, Naruto begins to eat too. But then, this is when he, Naruto hears Sakura's stomach and Naruto stops. He knows for a fact that he needs to eat so much to, to, to sustain himself. And so what happens is Naruto looks at Sakura and Sasuke looks at Naruto. Naruto eats his food instantly, puts it down, and Naruto immediately speed blitzes. He comes back, he comes back, and not even five seconds later, with about five fish, 
And then Naruto begins to make a fire, and as he, he makes the fire, in the blink of an eye, he puts those fish on, on sticks. And, and Sasuke's looking at Naruto like, well? And everyone's like, Kashi's looking at him from afar. And Sasuke's, you, Naruto's trying his abilities to make the, the fish cook faster and faster. And Sakura's really hungry. But once Naruto finishes cooking all the fish, Naruto goes over and he, he gives um, Sakura some fish. And he's like, but why Naruto? Don't uh, You're going to get kicked out. And Naruto goes, we're a team. I can't have you hungry. I'm sitting there as well. And she, she, she's upset and she goes to take a bite of the fish. And she's really grateful. And Sasuke also lifts his food up as well. He looks at Naruto and realizes what Naruto did. And Sakura begins to cry even more. Then she's grateful and she goes, thank you both of you. And then Kashi appears. And he states, ah, you guys did very well. You broke the one rule I told you not to do. But then again, it goes by saying that you chose your friend over the mission. And that's honorable but uh, beyond anything when it comes to me. You should know this already, Naruto. Naruto bows to Kakashi. Sasuke looking at Naruto and Kakashi and realizing that Naruto has a close bond with him. And so what happens is Kakashi smiles and goes, well, all, four of you, all three of you pass. And we're heading on our missions. Naruto's like, cool, I'm hungry, Kakashi. And so Naruto eats all the rest of the fish. And Kakashi goes, but where's mine? <laughs> Naruto goes, sorry, sorry, I'm hungry, 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 hungry. And Kakashi understands. And so from there, they do all their D-Rank missions. Now, this Naruto, before he goes on his D-Rank missions, Kakashi tells Naruto, he tells Naruto um, that he needs to learn. Naruto goes, learn? He goes, you're an idiot when it comes to women. You're an idiot when it comes to society, Naruto. And I understand. You didn't have no one to teach you. And so Kakashi gives Naruto this gigantic book and tells him to read this, to learn, to understand. Maybe this could help you in the future, you know? And so for the next month and a half or two, Naruto um, begins to read books using the speed read. He reads that entire book and he becomes fascinated with actual learning and the fact that he can process information so much faster than normal people. Naruto goes to the library every day when he gets free time to read books, to read about chakra, or read about history, jutsu, everything like that. Read everything about his mom, his dad, Uzumaki clan, all that stuff, Uchiha. Naruto learns about everything, Madara Uchiha, Hashirama, blah 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 blah, all that stuff. And as Naruto is becoming an absolute genius, because Naruto is becoming an absolute genius. So not, not only is Naruto a genius, in a sense, or genius level at this present time, Sasuke too is going through a dramatic change, okay? In the notion that Sasuke is being weaponized forcibly by Danzo, Sasuke has a mark on his tongue so he can never tell no one what is going on. But what happens is Danzo brutally tortures and trains Sasuke to the point where Sasuke's Sharingan is evolving faster than it needs to. Not only that, Danzo is amplifying Sasuke's body with Hashirama cells to make sure that he is the perfect weapon he can use against or anyone, it really. Now as both Sasuke and Naruto are just extremely more than what they were, Naruto is an absolute genius by this point, you know, and Sasuke is a, a tool, a weapon for Danzo's use. Over the two to two and a half months of d rank missions, both Naruto and Sasuke can walk up walls and trees, and not only that, they can walk on water, and they have a real good understanding, especially Naruto has a great understanding upon Chakra, okay? Now as it comes to the, um, the Taz and the Bridge situation, that still happens, okay? Team 7 is still ready, but with Naruto and Sasuke, they have a different type of ro a relationship. It's, it's like a rival, but Sasuke hates Naruto even more. And not only that, he hates Kakashi even more, you know? And so as they go through the d rank mission, Sasuke is quiet. He sticks to himself. Kakashi notices that um, when Sasuke goes on his own individual training, he, ch he changes a lot. His demeanor changes a lot. He becomes more aggressive, more aggro. And so this plays on Kakashi's mind, like what Danzo is actually doing to Sasuke, you know? And so, as they go through the story, as they go through the Land of Wave arc, and Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, and all that, uh, when the two demon brothers attack, it's not the fact that Naruto didn't react, it's everyone was caught off guard, especially um, Sasuke, Kakashi saw it, and as the two demon brothers got closer, both Sasuke and Naruto appeared right next to both of them, stopping both of them. Sasuke looking at Naruto, and Naruto looking at Sasuke. From Sasuke's perspective, he's like, huh, you're not as fast as you think you are, Naruto. And from Naruto's perspective, he's like, cool, someone's getting faster and stronger. Naruto's excited, you know? And as both Sasuke and Naruto demolish the two demon brothers, um, Sasuke goes a little bit too far to the point where he breaks one of the brother's arms and tortures him. Naruto sees this and stops Sasuke and goes, what the hell are you doing, Sasuke? This is not how we do things. Sasuke pulls out a kunai and tells Naruto, he goes, this is how we do things. Sasuke stabs one of the demon brothers right in the back. And Kakashi sees this. This, this angers Naruto. Sakura gets a little bit scared, you know? And as Sasuke looks at Naruto, Sasuke goes, What are you gonna do about Naruto? Hmm? Gonna use their power. Don't 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 worry though. 
I have the same power as Kakashi, Sasuke's eyes turn into Sharingan, and he steps right in front of Naruto. So what, what are you going to do? And Naruto smiles, and Naruto goes, Do you know I know everything, every, nearly everything about the Uchiha, Sasuke? And knowing the fact that your posturing is nothing, okay? Naruto walks away, and he goes, I'm not going to allow you to go to me into a fight. So Naruto looks right at Sasuke, because we already know who will win. Sasuke gets really angry, tells him, it's like, what the hell is going on? And Kakashi's like, he's just seen that three watching. Naruto walks away, and Sasuke immediately he puts um, lightning chakra in his kunai, and he throws it at Naruto. And as he throws it at Naruto, Sakura's like, Naruto, watch out! Naruto moves his head, and as the kunai comes past him, Naruto lifts his finger up, puts it through the hole, spins it, and flicks it back at Sasuke with more speed and way more lightning. And as Sasuke, as Sasuke didn't see it, it goes right past Sasuke's face, cuts him on the side of the face, and cuts right through um, all the trees that it hits, until it hits one massive rock and crater in it. When Sasuke sees this, he didn't realize that Naruto amplified the chakra with his speed force lightning and threw it at Sasuke with max speed. Sasuke didn't see it, even though he has a shotgun. gun. And as Sasuke touches his face and the pain of the blood on his hands, he looks at it, he's like, what the? But thanks to his Hashirama cells, it begins to heal quickly, to which Kakashi notices. But Sasuke is looking at Naruto like, did that actually just happen? Did he just speed past? Sasuke grits his teeth really angry, but he just, he just couldn't believe the difference. And then as Sasuke, as Sasuke goes to turn around to grab the kunai, Naruto's already behind him. And Sasuke with his, with his Sharingan looks right into Naruto's um, eyes. And when he looks right into Naruto's eyes and sees into Naruto's mindscape, the Naruto is like, Get the hell out of here with those damn eyes! And, so, and Sasuke looks up and Naruto's like, Naruto goes, I was wondering how long it will take for you to enter into my mind space. And Sasuke goes, what the hell is this? And Naruto goes, another one of your Uchiha abilities, your Sharingan's allowed to can pierce into other people's minds. If I was you, that I wouldn't go piercing too deeply, because um, you may interrupt something that could kill you. And Sasuke goes, what? The Nine Tails fully manifest behind the cage. Naruto's removed the lightning chakra that's around it, the lightning um, um, speed force around it. But the Nine Tails smashes his head against the cage and tells Sasuke, You damn Uchiha! Sasuke gets scared and falls right out of Naruto. And as he falls out of Naruto, he looks at him with the Sharing Gun and he sees the power of the Nine Tail Fox around Naruto. And not the fact that Naruto is uh, um, summoning the Nine Tail's chakra. Naruto allowed the chakra barrier that the, um, the barrier that the Speed Forces put up between Naruto and the Nine Tails to be weakened enough for the Nine Tail's chakra to leak around him, and so Sasuke to build the fear of himself. For knowing when Sasuke re he recuperates and gets up, he gets over his fear and tells Naruto, "You're quite impressive." But he does it in a way where he doesn't want to show that he's scared and frightened of Naruto. At the same time, he wants to keep his strong attitude. Sasuke walks away with his hand in his pocket. Tazuna goes, is this normal for your team? And Kakashi goes, they need to work out their differences anyway. But I'll, I'll, I'll talk to them um, when we get to your place. Tazuna agrees. Naruto and them all walk around. And, and as they continue to walk, Naruto looks at Sasuke and think, ponders to himself. Is this really Sasuke? Like, what's, what's happening to him? And Kakashi's also th thinking the same thing. Sakura's massively scared. She doesn't know what to do. And then when a gigantic blade comes out of nowhere and hits the tree, and Zabuza lands on it, he begins to talk. Naruto looks up, and he judging by the gigantic sword and the guy, um, the look of the guy, Naruto goes, you're a hit and miss, um, Shinobi, aren't you? Zabuza looks at Naruto and goes, <laughs> this little brat knows what he's talking about. Until Zabuza sees Kakashi, goes, Kakashi Hatoke. How interesting. And Kakashi look and Zabuza make eye contact, and Naruto sitting there trying to discern everything about him until he realizes, "You're Zabuza Mochi, wielder of the Executioner Blade, one of the seven, one of the seven swordsmen of the Hidden Mist, right?" And they're all looking at Naruto. And Kakashi looks at Naruto, smiling, and Kakashi goes, "So did you?" And Naruto goes, "Yes. That book was really insightful. I read every single book in the Library of Konoha." Kakashi's eyes open wide, and he goes, "Ah, oh, that's what happened." <laughs> And so as Naruto is looking at Zabuza, he's deducing everything, and Naruto realizes that this guy heavily relies on the strength of his sword, his abilities, and knowing that if, if everything goes the way he believes it, he's going to summon the mist. And sure enough, Zabuza summons the mist, taken off guard by the fact that this little kid knows exactly who he is, and he hides his bloodlust for now, until he jumps in between all of them and he goes to attack, but what happens is, Kakashi reacts and so does Naruto. Kakashi stops Zabuza's blade, and Naruto manages to slam his fist around the Zabuza's gut, breaking his ribs with the speed force too. He sends Zabuza away, and as Kakashi is about to rush, Sasuke is already there. He has lightning chakra on his, on his dagger, and he stabs Zabuza on the shoulder. And stabbing Zabuza, Zabuza screams in pain and swipes at Sasuke. But Sasuke is able to use his Sharingan ability just to move right out of the way, just barely. And as Zabuza goes to a miss, he swings again, three times faster. 
And, and if Sasuke doesn't react now, he's going to get cut in half. But what ends up happening is Naruto sees this, he speed blitzes it, he lands on top of the sword, hits the sword on the ground. And then Naruto jumps at Zabuza and lands a massive punch on Zabuza's face without him even recognizing it. Breaking Zabuza's nose and completely blinding him on one side, sends Zabuza flying crashing into a tree. And Kakashi standing there with his kunai is like, huh? What? And both Naruto and Sasuke stand back to back. They look at each other and, they, and Sasuke smiles. And Naruto smiles. Sasuke activates his shine gun fully. He pushes himself even more and he gives a nod. Naruto gives a nod. Sasuke amplifies himself to try to put to the test what, what Danzo told him. And with a little little bit of amount of chakra or lightning chakra that he has, um, learned, Sasuke coats his body with as much as he can and he tries to amplify himself. In doing so, he increases his speed dramatically. And so Zabuza recovers and he looks up and he sees both Naruto and Sasuke disappear. One disappearing with orange ye yellow lightning and the other one disappearing with blue lightning streaks. And then as Zabuza realizes, Naruto and Sasuke are on the side of him, pretty much how Naruto and Sasuke do against Momoshiki. But when Sasuke lands a punch on Zabuza's ribs, and Nar where Naruto broke it already, as Naruto lands another punch on Zabuza's face, fully breaking Zabuza's scut um, jaw, and actually really hurting him badly. But see, the difference between Naruto and Sasuke is Sasuke put a lot of his lightning chakra into Zabuza, so it paralyzed Zabuza in, in the place. So after Naruto's punch lead and made Zabuza crash into a tree, Sasuke kicks up Zabuza's sword and throws it right at Zabuza. Zabuza was able just to move, but it cuts off one of his arms. And Zabuza's like, how am I getting? And right away, Sasuke appears right in front of Zabuza with a, um, a kunai, a kunai with lightning in it, and he's about to stab Zabuza. But it's, um, what's it called? Naruto stops Sasuke, and two um, two um, spike bones are about to about to pierce Zabuza. But Naruto catches both of them. He catches not only Sasuke's attack, but Haku's attack, and crushes them. And he pushes Sasuke away. He's like, enough. We beat him. Sasuke looks at Naruto, and goes, <laughs> walks away. And it's, uh, Sasuke looks back at Zabuza and spits at his foot. And walks away, and Zabuza look. He's intimidated as hell. Like he's like, what the? And Naruto stands there. Kakashi walks over, and this is where Haku lands. Haku explains everything that who he is and what he's there for. But Naruto already deduced it anyway. He saw that he's a head of Miss Onbun uh, Ninja. Blah, blah 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 blah. And so Haku is actually morbid and timid. With the fact that he see, he sees Zabuza in such a bad state from kids, you know. And so um, Haku um, grabs Zabuza, Kakashi, um, Kakashi uses, oh well, so Haku uses ice ability to free Zabuza's a wound, and he takes him, you know, Zabuza's arm is pretty much gone. And one of that, uh, what's it called, they go, um, Haku tries to take the sword, but he, c he can't get it out, and so he, um, he leaves immediately, before Kakashi gets too suspicious. Kakashi sees the sword, and he rips the sword out, and he goes, this would be a pretty good sword, and Naruto goes, it would be good. But it'll be a good, also a good tool to give to the Head of Mist as like a bargaining chip, right, Kakashi Sensei? Kakashi looks at Naruto. He goes, you know what, kid? You're actually on. You're actually really on about that. Good, good job. Kakashi takes the Executioner Blade, he pulls out a scroll, and he seals it. He takes away, they, he they head off back to um, Tarzan's place. Now, because Kakashi didn't need to actually do nothing, Naruto and Sasuke did everything, Kakashi didn't focus on Sasuke and Naruto at all. He focused on Sakura and her training. And for the next couple of a couple of weeks while they're there, Kakashi is training um, Sakura so much, pushing her so much. Now, when Haku and Zabuza, there's a big difference. Zabuza's missing an arm, his jaw is broken, his ribs are broken. Like he's in a bad way. Like in a sense where Haku is like desperate to try help him, but Zabuza's actually dying. Like he didn't realize that with Sasuke's attack on Zabuza, his internal structure kind of he bled out badly. So Zabuza's dying, full on dying. And when it comes to near the fatal day of the Tenchi Bridge, that's when Zabuza full on dies from his injuries from Sasuke and Naruto. He looks at Haku and he tells Haku to avenge him and kill them all with his blade. And Haku cries, he disappears. The whole area turns to ice on the, uh, on the Tenchi Bridge, everywhere turns to ice. And Kakashi feels it, he's like, what the? And he remembering back to when Haku um, pretty much um, froze Zabuza's wound. Kakashi tells everyone to get ready and the mirror appears behind Kakashi and what happens is Haku throws multiple sin bonds. Kakashi sees that reaction and it begins to deflect it. And what happens is Kakashi goes back to back. Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura hear this and they instantly jump into the position where they're defensive over um, of, um, Tazuna. And Naruto and Sasuke go, what the hell? And they see ice everywhere and these mirrors appear and Haku appears in all these mirrors. And Naruto goes, why are you here? Didn't you do your job? And Haku say nothing. He disappears and he throws multiple sin bonds. Naruto being on the edge of course pulls out a kunai, turns around and he activates his speed ability and begins to take out all the sin bonds. Haku is oppressed. He does the same with Sasuke. Sasuke dodges them all too. 
And this is when Haku just does everything. He does multiple ice spikes on the ground to try to take everyone out. And everything like that. And luckily for um, Sakura, Kakashi's there to do a lightning blade to cut right through ha Haku's ice. Haku, um, then what he does is, seeing that Sakura is the one that Kakashi is protecting, and he's, in Haku's mind, the only th true threat besides Sasuke and Naruto, Haku instantly um, imprisons Kakashi in the in in ice, well, well, not in the ice mirror prison that he does in um, in the canon. He puts him in a, like a, another type of ice prison where his body's frozen, and Haku goes to try to shatter it. But what happens is Kakashi sees this, and without hesitating, Kakashi puts a lightning track around his body, breaks the ice, but it hurts him. Ha Kakashi drops to his knee, and as Haku's about to swipe at him, Naruto boots Haku right in the face, in the air. Sasuke jumps over Naruto's shoulders, and punches Haku as he's, as he's floating in the air, sending Haku flying. When Naruto and Sasuke sees this, they realize that their speed and the abilities they have, their reaction speed and timing, could work, in, work out into their advantage. And then as they look, ha the Haku that they beat, beat down was actually an ice, um, ice, what's it called, um, clone. Naruto looks at his hand and his hand begins to freeze. Naruto uses his ability to vibrate his hand so fast that it mounts the ice. And his hand goes back to normal, but Sasuke himself it begins to go on his hand too. So Naruto does the same to Sasuke's hand to warm it up. And as, as he does so, three or four spikes pierce Sasuke's back. And this massive spike almost gets Sasuke, or it's Naruto. But Sasuke sees this, and just by reacting, Sasuke pushes Naruto out of the way, and Sasuke gets stabbed right through the gut. Naruto, and Sasuke holds, holds, his stump, uh, holds his stomach, he's like, Ugh. Naruto's like, Sasuke! Everyone screams Sasuke, and Kakashi looks over, and for the first time ever, Naruto is absolutely morbid. He looks at ha Sasuke, and Sasuke goes, Naruto goes, Why did you do that? I could have moved! And Sasuke goes, I don't know, you idiot. It was just... My body moved. He coughs up blood and Naruto sees this and Naruto gets so angry and what I mean so angry Naruto looks up Sasuke li lies back down Kakashi comes over to try to do as much as he can he removes the ice spike and the Hashirama cells begin to heal Sasuke but not to the degree he was hoping Sasuke still he does not Naruto he's not the real Hashirama regardless of those um, Hashirama cells now and you guys are maybe wondering why Sasuke doesn't have the Renegon or Mongekyo I just want to state how much Hashirama cells that um, Danzo has placed in Sasuke's body is it's not that much, so he only, he has a generalization. His body's stronger, and he will get stronger, but not to the degree that where it needs to be right now. Because remember, bear in mind, Obito didn't have um, a, a Renegon, even though he had Hashirama cells. So, there. It took my little years. So I'm just going to go with that basis for now, okay? But what happens is Sasuke brings the heels, Naruto notices this, but Sasuke coughs up blood and pain. And for the first time ever, Naruto lets his guard down. And as Naruto lets his guard down, the Nine Tails smiles and goes, It's my turn. And as Nine Tails chakra just explodes out of Naruto, red chakra emits everywhere. And as that red chakra explodes in the air, red lightning appears around Naruto's body. Naruto's eyes turn red. He starts to vibrate, and Nine Tails chakra emits around him. And as Haku, Haku looks at Naruto, and Naruto is looking fully like a demon. This is where we're going to let this one off, guys. I, I hope you guys like this. Please like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Leave the bell notification on so you guys can be the first to get my new content. And follow my other two channels: to which Doctor Kahu Explain and Doctor Kahu Gaming. Yeah, guys. Things are going to be moving quickly and I hope you like this. But without further ado guys, this is Dr. Kahu saying peace.